Oh, our anniversary cake, right? Okay, we'll do it when Papa give his talk. Amen. Um, you know, promotion in the kingdom is more responsibility. When you are faithful in little things, God will add to the measure of responsibility. We want to take a moment to give thanks to the Lord and to appreciate him, to magnify his name. I believe um, those among us, people like Victor Ipo, Turayo, and all the people that were part of the training eight years ago, when you look around now, it's a great marvel. And we glorify the name of the Lord. <laughs> Hallelujah. So we will see um, how we can tackle the remaining 20 million. We will see how we can tackle it so that that will be behind us. So at least in that 20 million, I will give one then it will now become 19. And we trust God to be able to clear that up in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, we give you praise, we give you glory, we magnify your name. We thank you. Thank you for what you're doing in Lagos. Thank you for the grace that you have poured out. Thank you for the favor that is at work in our midst and with our mission. We glorify your name. We exalt you. We ask that your mighty hand will sustain your people, will enlarge their course, and will bless them. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. You may be seated. God bless you. We are all aware of our mission, striving for the rebirth of apostolic Christianity. We are a rescue initiative, a rescue strategy that God has put in place to bring nations, to bring cities, to bring regions and territories back into alignment with the purposes of God. It's um, for which we will need the overflow of the grace of God. Hallelujah. Maybe during our IEC or one of our conferences, we will now give the global report and you will see how everybody's little effort combines to produce that massive global effect. It is huge what God is doing and the people that God is leading to join our ranks, the ranks of our missionaries, the ranks of our partners, all over the world can only be the hand of God. So once and again, we owe God all the praise and all the worship in the name of Jesus. All right, so let's take a, a, a shot from the word of God for a few minutes and then we'll proceed with the event for the night. Exodus chapter 6. Exodus chapter 6. So, if you are recent in our fold, you are recent in our company, I want to say to you that you are not in the wrong place. Yeah, what God is doing through us is one of the strategic things he's doing in the land. And uh, we trust God for a stronger voice in the territory. And the way that will happen is as we come together in partnership 
and the objective is to pedestal the Lord Jesus as King of Kings and as Lord of Lords. Then the Lord said unto Moses, See now, now shall thou see what I will do to Pharaoh. For with a strong hand shall he let them go. And with a strong hand shall he drive them out of his land. And God spake unto Moses and said unto him, I am Jehovah. I am the Lord. I appeared unto Abraham, unto Isaac, and unto Jacob by the name of El Shaddai. But by my name, Jehovah, was I not known to them. Hallelujah. He said to Moses, I'm about to unveil a dimension of my identity. And I'm going to unleash that dimension on the tyrant Pharaoh. When I unleash this dimension on Pharaoh, there are two things he'll be compelled to do. He will let my people pass from beneath his captivity and he will drive them out of his land. Hallelujah. He will be the one to hasten their exit from the territory because of the dimension of myself that I'm about to put on display. Your ancestors knew me by a different identity, but Jehovah is God's covenant name. What is going on here with Moses did not begin with Moses. Moses was just a victim of an agreement that God reached with the fathers of the house of Israel. And in view of that agreement, Moses became relevant. Moses received a calling because God will keep covenant with the ancestors of the people of Israel. Are you there with me? This dimension of God, which is associated with covenant obligations, is going to be the basis upon which Pharaoh will be compelled to let the people of God go and indeed he will drive them out of his land. He will forfeit his authority over them. He will forfeit his influence over them. He will be compelled because I'm going to appear in my dimension as Jehovah. Hallelujah. It means that God is going to exercise authority on a personality that thinks he's the ultimate authority in the earth. So there's going to be a clash of authority. And the result of the clash of the authority is that the lesser authority will relinquish that which the greater authority came to rescue. Are you with me? And all of these arrangements that are being communicated to Moses are mere implications that picked Moses because of agreements that God had with the fathers of the land. Moses is going to be wrong if he doesn't have any idea of what God had with his fathers that occasioned his calling, given the fact that his calling did not begin with him. His calling was incidental upon agreements that were made before his manifestation. If you are understanding me, say amen. amen. 
Moses needs to go into research to find out the original foundation that occasion that he was preferred to be a functionary that will partner with God to manifest that aspect of God which was never disclosed to his ancestors. What we are trying to do right now is to research into what God had with the ancestors of Israel that occasioned the call of Moses. Are you with me? I'm just driving you to a prayer point that is in my spirit. But I'm using all the wisdom that I have at my disposal not to throw the prayer point at you, but to take you through a path where the prayer point I have becomes a prayer point in your heart, then we'll corporately plead with the Lord to do his good will in our midst. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. First thing that we must start with in our investigation and on our journey. Are you with me? Meanwhile, I want to say I fully identify with uh, the Ajegule man. That was my corridor. Where are you again? I am with you in, in everything. In Jesus' name. <laughs> and indeed, we'll look for opportunities when you are ready and when your spiritual father confirms that you are in shape to take on the responsibility of that territory, we'll combine with you and make a feast in that land for Jesus. <laughs> Hallelujah. All right, I don't want to take your time. I just want to take you on a journey through uh, the wisdom of God so that what is of my heart will become yours. And then together, we can make demands on heaven. All right, we want to begin the investigation. That's why I want to invite you again to read verse number three with me. It says, and I appeared unto Abraham, you see, you were on the right scripture. Must you change the scripture? You were okay. You know, they are full, full of life. They must do something. <laughs> I appeared unto Abraham, unto Isaac, and unto Jacob by the name God Almighty, or preferably by the name El Shaddai. Right? So if we want to know what God had with their ancestors, we will need to study God's manifestation as the El Shaddai. Meanwhile, by definition, when we say El Shaddai, what we mean is the strong. When we say El Shaddai, what we mean is the multi-breasted. The multi-breasted that sustains all but is sustained by none. When we say El Shaddai, we mean the, all, the unlimited that provides shelter for the limited. So in the story of Abraham, in the story of Isaac, in the story of Jacob, where El Shaddai is the one on display, you will notice an aspect of their life that reveals deficiency. So El Shaddai steps in to manifest the fact that he is strong and that he is multi-breasted, that he can sustain, that he can support. Hallelujah. Because if you have not yet known him, as the El Shaddai, you will not be able to conceive him as Jehovah. And it took God three generations to establish his identity as the El Shaddai. In the case of Abraham, Abraham's challenge 
was the challenge of barrenness. Abraham's wife was barren. The womb was short. And El Shaddai manifested, showing that he was all sufficient. And you need to know the reason for which there was a challenge. Hallelujah. Are you there? Maybe not for tonight. So El Shaddai manifested his capacity by making someone that was barren, that had entered into menopause, to conceive and to bear seed. He did this to show that with El Shaddai there is strength and with him there is nothing that is impossible. In the second generation, Isaac had to contend with famine. The same cyclical kind of famine that visits that realm came. And the first time he came, his ancestor Abraham left a pattern. He escaped from the territory and went to Egypt to take solace. And that was contrary to God's will. And so Isaac wanted to follow the same pattern. And while he made up his mind to move to Egypt for sustenance, the Lord told him not to go, and the Lord commanded him to sow in the land in the midst of drought. And the Bible says, and Isaac sowed in that land, and in the same year, he reaped an hundredfold, and the Philistines envied him. So El Shaddai, in the life of Isaac, confronted famine. Oh, you're not with me. You are covenant people. That's why we are bringing the El Shaddai on the scene. You say, okay, I don't just want to come, get blessed in open meetings, get delivered, receive anointing. I want to be part of the process of manufacturing this anointing. I want to be part of the people that offer themselves to sacrifice to ensure that this kind of service is available to the body of Christ. So you have, you have taken a step further. You are on the ground of covenant. So that means you have a right for the anointing producing the results in this house to defend you, to prosper you, to work on your life, and to advance your cause. Are you with me? You have a right. And that's what this meeting is about. So El Shaddai was able to defeat, and just in case... We have partners, listen to me online. I'm saying, if you are part of what God is doing here by your financial sacrifices, you have a right to be influenced by the deluge of the grace of God that is producing the results in our midst. In the case of Jacob, Jacob's problem was poverty. He was broke. And uh, hallelujah, he had to escape for his life suddenly. His escape was not planned, so he didn't carry support. He escaped with his walking stick. But fortunately for him, he escaped with the commitment of the covenant of El Shaddai. And when he went into the unknown, the unknown became a place that could support his destiny. And he conquered the menace of poverty and achieved actualization against all odds. Do you know why it took three generations for the dimension of God in El Shaddai to be fully illustrated? It took three generations because if we check your own problem now, we can put it in the category of any of these three individuals that El Shaddai walked with. All right, where's, let's, all well, pastor, what's your problem? Tell us your problem. Take the mic. Take the mic. Now, please be, be open to us. This, this, right? What do you, what's your problem? Or should we start from a sister? Okay, all well. Look for any sister that is not a pastor. I hand over it. 
Start from my sister. You see, they are all now. Everyone is. Okay, me too, I will stop. If you are not talking, me too. This transmission has, has it's not only you that can decide not to talk. Me too. Okay, me I, too. I will. Let, let I will. Me. <laughs> Yeah, what's your problem? Okay, I want to buy a new car. That's now, he wants to buy a new car. That means your case is, is not even as bad as Jacob's. Jacob's was Jacob. It was a walking stick. He ran with. He ran into the unknown. He ran into oblivion. He didn't know the laws of the nation he was running into. He couldn't influence anything. And El Shaddai. And his master what he was a smart guy, a Lagos businessman, changed his wages. He understands inflation. At the end of the day, he will manipulate it in such a way that he take home. He will remove fuel subsidy, remove everything. No subsidy. So El Shaddai showed up, gave him a strategy in the spirit. As at the time El Shaddai showed up in the life of Jacob, he was at his wit's end, he was on zero. And he knew that his life was not going to make any headway and that he's going to serve Laban and serve Laban's children because Laban's children had learned his ways. So the idea was that even though he was related to Laban, he was, his descendants were going to be slaves in the family of Laban generation after generation by the system that was put in place. Greatness and actualization was not in view. Then, in that same situation, El Shaddai shows up and says, You are not going to work in this company. Take a proposal to the company for partnership. And when the businessman read the proposal of Jacob, he knew that Jacob was a fool and he accepted because it was. It was not smart to come up with a kind of proposal that he came up with. It was impossible genetically. And then El Shaddai went and altered the genetics of, you know, I don't have time to talk this night. In fact, I was studying the, are you with me? I was studying Abraham. You know, his name was Abram. And God added letters to it to make it Abraham. Ham, exalted father, becoming the father of many nations. So even in, 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 in genetics, God can add letters. So that, that's what God did. He added letters to the genetic combination and then favored the proposal of Jacob. And that was how he was able to conquer poverty. The smart guy that was dealing with Jacob saw his word pass from his hands into the hands of of Jacob with all his smartness there was something at work in the life of Jacob that was superior to what he learned from Lagos business school I was hearing some people talk about economic empowerment and business and I knew all the people that attended that conference if they are going to use the things they had they will fail it, are you are you following the they, they facilitators were talking brilliant, talking smart. Let me tell you. Let's work with El Shaddai. You don't need to be too smart to, to make profit. It's not a thing of the brain. That, that's the Laban level. Laban. Where you know the all share index, you know the uh, inflation rate, you know all the indices. El Shaddai. Tell your neighbor El Shaddai. Let's do El Shaddai. So all well, there's a dimension of El Shaddai that is, that has modeled its capacity to um, change the economic fortunes of men. So we are going to make demands on those dimensions. And we are, we trust God that when we are here next year, you will, that car should be outside. And I say this not by prophecy, I say it by, the, by my knowledge of the El Shaddai. Are you with me? Pass the mic, pass the mic, look for it, sister. And if they refuse to talk, me too, I will shut down. 
It's not only you that can do a looter and say, why, why do you want us to? Me too, I can shut down. <laughs> yes? What do you want? Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Abraham's own difficulty in, in child. Childhood. Okay. We are going to come on your case with vengeance this night. And also Jacob. No, Pop we didn't. Don't. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it can be more than one. Yeah, you are, you, you are smart. <laughs> You will find out God took three generations to model the capacity of El Shaddai because almost all our needs revolve around those three factors. And so for everyone that wants the, Abraham, the Abrahamic dimension, somewhere along uh, the, the, the line, we are going to put you all, we'll form a circle, we'll put you all in the middle. And call on El Shaddai. Now, I, I don't want to bore you with my own story, how that I finished. I was hoping that my dad would give me a letter of recommendation to some of his friends that were in power so that I could get employment. But he died before I graduated. Sometimes in order for God to reveal his capacity as El Shaddai, some strong men around you will be taken away. When your life is exposed to his direct hand of parentage and fatherhood, you have no other altar, no other strength, no other thing to depend upon, then you are in a very perfect position for you to see the wonders of the El Shaddai. God did not only surprise me because I was asking him, okay, you've been haunting me while on campus. I almost dropped out of school because of the the impact of the calling on my life. And some elders now said, no, that's not the way. So I stayed back. So I was, I was thinking, because of the way he was pursuing me in school, that this ministry thing was so, come and do ministry, come and do ministry. And when I went to him for prayer, he said, no, you're not going to full-time ministry yet. I'll give you a job. I said, I I'm not asking for it. Is it a job you were preparing me for haunting me in the night, in the dream you appear? So I'll give you a job. So he now unveiled his capacity, the Jacob dimension in my life. And all of that was to build me in trust. To know that he's the one producing everything. And that he's trustworthy to reproduce it as the case may be. You are covenant people. There is something God deposited in this our conclave. It's a spiritual resource. There is no territory we have been to that we could not, we did not conquer. Whether it's a community of witches, a household of necromancers, the den of the black magicians, all of them submitted to the authority that we carried. And that spiritual substance that is behind our efforts you people are sowing into it, you believe it, you believe it. It has other applications that you are about to see in the next one year. We are eight now. By the time we gather to be nine, we'll check our notes, all the people that spoke, and we'll see the power of El Shaddai. And I, like I said, I'm not speaking by prophecy. I'm speaking by the knowledge of the El Shaddai I have. Because sometime in the ministry of Paul, he said, my God shall supply. He was speaking about the knowledge of El Shaddai he had secured through his work with God and he invoked that specific special knowledge that was in his custody to make that commitment. And he made the commitment on behalf of God, the way he knows God. That's what I, I want to declare on you tonight. Hallelujah. If it is true that it's God we met, if it is true that it's the one that has helped us to this point, then my God, my God will occasion a visitation in your life that will change everything in the name of Jesus. 
So, now I know you are following. So, let's take one, just one step. There are so many steps we would have taken if it's a traditional teaching meeting. But today is not for teaching. You've been receiving teaching since I came. We, what we have here is a cake. So, it's obvious you are not so interested <laughs> in my teaching. So, we do the best I can to get out of your way with full commitment to ensure that I transmit the prayer in my spirit into yours. And then my prayer will become your prayer. And God will need to answer us as a congregation. All right, let us use Abraham as a case study. Um, in the book of Genesis chapter 17, I will round up after this scripture. Genesis chapter 17, beginning from verse number one. And when Abraham was 90 years old and nine, the Lord appeared unto Abraham and said unto him, I am the El Shaddai. You know, what I was supposed to do traditionally, if it's a Bible study, is that I'm supposed to take reference from Abraham, how God introduced himself to Abraham as El Shaddai, Isaac also, Jacob also. Then we can get a full film of how El Shaddai introduced himself across the generations and the added revelations of himself in that dimension that came generation after generation until we have a very robust perspective of him. Are you there? But you see, I'll just do Abraham. You will notice that El Shaddai came to Abraham at a certain time. El Shaddai did not come before that time. The reason why El Shaddai did not come before that time was because Abraham still thought he had the capacity that he still had living spermatozoa. He was still very much a man capable of producing seed. So God waited for him to enter into that age where the mortality rate of the living organisms coming out of his humanity was so fast that he doesn't have the ability to make children. Are you there? Now, you don't need God to, you don't need, are you, are you with me? You don't need him to come at 90. Let me tell you the secret. The moment you acknowledge that, that you are incapacitated, your, your 90 years has come already. But as long as you still believe that I can try, <laughs> El Shaddai will wait. El Shaddai will not put his strength upon your strength. He will put his strength upon your weakness. And that's why Apostle Paul says anytime he discerns that he's failing in strength, he rejoices because he is a candidate to experience the El Shaddai. Now this is, are you with me? This is how we get by. Sometimes God will give you some infirmities that he will not take away, like my speech impediment. Most of you don't know that I'm still a very, very viable stammerer. And every time I'm supposed to come preach the gospel, I stay with him, with the El Shaddai, for him to bring his all-sufficiency on my insufficiency. It's out of the overflow of that engagement that I can speak to you like a normal person. Speaking to me doesn't come naturally. If you have ever met me outside of the pulpit, you will know that I choose my words before I speak. I'm not this fluent. Are you there? You see, if, if El Shaddai comes to cut covenant with you, in order for you to carry him along in your life as your support, your structure, your reinforcement, you will need to acknowledge again and again every passing day that I am insufficient in this matter. Because El Shaddai doesn't want to share glory. El Shaddai wants all the glory for the matter. He wants to be the reference point in the situation. So El Shaddai came when Abraham was 99. That was how long it took for Abraham to surrender. But tonight, if you can yield, you will see El Shaddai. 
I'm not preaching this message because I like it. I'm preaching it because God gave it to me. And if God gave it to me, it's because he wants to show himself the El Shaddai in our midst. And indeed he will, in the name of Jesus Christ. So, if God appeared to him, said unto him, I am the El Shaddai. Then he gives him a condition. Walk thou before me and be thou perfect. First of all, God invests in an introduction. He said, this is who I am. I am El Shaddai. But you will need to walk before me in the revelation I'm giving you as the El Shaddai until you become perfect. Think about it. So when Abraham left and he aligned with the Hagar idea, he was not yet perfected in the revelation of the El Shaddai. He was not perfect. You know, I told you El Shaddai wants to take the glory. El Shaddai wants to be the actor that is visibly seen as the defender of your life. El Shaddai doesn't want competition. And because he is eternal, he doesn't respect time. He can wait for 70 years until you are fed up before he will show up. You don't have time, but El Shaddai has all, all of eternity. So he, are you there? He doesn't need to come to you at 70. In fact, he needs to come to us right, <laughs> right now. And if, if he's going to come right now, you must acknowledge we have exhausted everything. We've tried everything. God will give us a miracle that we will testify about when we gather next year here that we know that none of us could do but only El Shaddai could do. Walk down before me and be Thou perfect. I remember, you know, God spoke about the job he gave me before our agency even existed. He spoke about the job he gave me on the 13th of January, 2003. Our agency existed as a committee in March, 2003. Then, because the committee did well, um, a bill was sent to the National Assembly to establish a commission because of the good work of the committee and it was passed into law and the authority to establish a commission came out of that bill and then we became ending of March we became a commission 1st of April I was employed. Are you there? But the great one spoke to me about it even before the committee sat. And he said, I'm going to give you a job. Now, when we got upon that job, they sent us to the zones. The girlfriend of the operations manager was the one that gave charge of our zone. She would call you on Monday morning, insult you first. Meanwhile, we were on the same rank. But she was speaking with the voice of the manager that was looking for an occasion to prove to you that he's the manager. It's, it's obvious you are not aware that he's the manager. So he has to prove to you. And the lieutenant, he, he puts in place to ensure you are thoroughly educated about the capacity of the manager is his babe. <laughs> Have you been there before? A time came where unconsciously the dread of our lives was that big. And one day it was overwhelming. I went to God in prayer and reported it again. And you know, the El Shaddai showed up. You know what he asked me? Who gave you this job? You know, I was walking before him, but I was not yet perfect in the knowledge of what? Yeah, Shaddai. 
So because of that, I was a victim. Satan was manipulating me. Are you ready to be perfect? I down. I was delivered by that question God asked me. The second, on Monday morning, she called me and she insulted, I insulted back. <laughs> and with English, with English language, with enough English. So she, uh, he said, where's this? I said, when you provide internet service. Those were the days where internet was, we, don't ha we didn't have internet in in the middle bed. So when you provide the internet, I gave her four things that she had to provide. She didn't call me again till I resigned. <laughs> and I, with serious English, are you there? The insult I insulted her, no, was not, you are stupid. No, 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 no. I, I, I made her know she didn't know the job. You know, there's a way intelligent people insult people. They, I, when I finished the analysis, she didn't call back again for 16 years. <laughs> you, are not, you know what I'm talking about. I, I, at that time, I had become perfect. I had understood that I was working with who? With the hair shirt. Three years down the road, they failed to promote me. So I missed four windows of pro promotion. I went back for 48 hours of prayer and took the Bible and spread it out before God and said, show me where I went wrong here for which you have refused to give me my promotion. It is you that gave me the job. It, my promotion is you also that will give me promotion. So you are not giving me promotion. Show me what I did wrong. I prayed that prayer for 48 hours for throughout Saturday, Sunday. On Monday, the chief executive called me that he's coming to my zone. I went and picked him at the toll gate. They did what they came to do. He asked me a few questions. I answered. Went back to Abuja. Couldn't sleep. Woke up the next day. Came to the office. Asked the man that refused to promote me. And the reason why the man refused to promote me, he came for, to our zone and asked me to go and bring girls for him to sleep with. I told him I was an evangelist before I got this job. That if I go to the campus where I graduated to look for girls, if I gather them, they will say Jesus wants to do another trick. Because <laughs> you, don't, you don't understand. I was a radical, I was a mad radical for Jesus. They'll say, Jesus. So it's going to be the foundations of the earth will go out, of course. <laughs> that was how the man vowed that I will never be promoted. The same man that vowed that I will not be promoted. This guy could not sleep. Came to him because of the admin head. You write out this boy's promotion. No, first he said, bring his file. Then he saw that I was not promoted. Write out a letter for that guy's promotion. Pay him all the money we owed him. So that's how they paid me all those four years. They back, back did the four years, paid me the money. That's how I built my house in Makod. The government was saving for me because I was in league with the El Shaddai. <laughs> Guess what? Because my promotion was backdated four years, the next year I became due. He, he, he took my file again and said, this boy, do you know that we never spoke? No. No. That man was considered the most wicked man that ever served as chief executive. Huh? That's the man carrying my file. And the man that said I will not be promoted, his signature was on two of my promotion letters. Now the question is, when he was signing it, was he looking here or here? <coughs> <coughs> it's called the air shadow. Walk down before me and be down perfect. So I'm going to come down from the stage. Let's do what I saw in my spirit, okay? We are going to, the matter we really want to attack this night is those trusting God for children. We'll use that as our case study. Hallelujah. We'll use that as our case study tonight. So I'm going to come down. We will 
carry out the prophetic action I saw in my spirit and will call the El Shaddai. Hallelujah. So by the time I resigned my job and I came into full-time ministry, it was easy for me to walk with the El Shaddai. Challenges were looking me, staring me in the face, every left, right, and center, things we needed to do, things we needed to accomplish. But you see, I had already known the El Shaddai, so I was at peace. And I saw him in... Uh, you guys don't know the Benue State, Benue State, you don't know the Middle East, the Middle Belt, the economy of those places. I saw the El Shaddai do the unthinkable. In that dry land, he gave us 1.6 billion naira after COVID. And we built an edifice to his glory. Hallelujah. The same year we built that edifice was the same year we started the cable television station. And our annual subscription is in excess of 61,000 US dollars. Never done in the Middle Belt. Never done in the history of the Middle Belt. Ministry of Works came to visit us and they said, when they saw the foundation we put in the ground, they said there's no building in Benue State since 1976 that has this foundation. University of Agriculture came to do tests of material. Civil Engineering Department to test our pillars and test our slab. It exceeded the standard of Koren. Koren came to visit us one time, hoping to find reason to be coming to take bribe. We exceeded their specifications. They didn't visit us again till we finished the building. Meanwhile, we were snapping. Everything we do, we we'll snap and keep it on the dashboard just in case they come. The first time they came, we got an engineer from the United States. When he checked our foundation, he even knew that even in the United States, that's not the standard. What we did was beyond their standard. So he came and said, we are wasting money. I said, no, we are building the house of God. Do you know that we never raised money? Because I was already perfect. You know what I, I came with? We must be perfect with the El Shaddai. He will do the impossible in our midst. We'll use, oh Jesus Christ, he's, he's here now, he's here. When the El Shaddai said, okay, we are going to influence Ghana, we we'll influence South Africa, we we'll influence the United Kingdom, we didn't know anybody. We had no connection. Right from that wilderness, the connections came. Connections came. Hallelujah. The El Shaddai. I didn't know that the world was small, Pastor John. I didn't know. I thought it was big. The El Shaddai. We want to put him on the scene right now. But before we do carry out the prophetic action I have in mind, can we tell him that we believe in him? We know you. You have the capacity to turn things around. You have the strength to change my story, to transform my experience. You are the strong one. You are the multi-breasted. You sustain all, but you, su you are sustained by none. El Shaddai, El Shaddai, Ex El Shaddai. Kubila Baboroko Santoria. Geri no no mosenko salabaito compres keto bila mansadi. Yedo compres seke balita kusa ni compres kovilaba. Don't doubt him tonight. Don't doubt him. Do not doubt him. Do not doubt him. Do not doubt him. I dare you to believe him tonight. 
Shami no compre shakatani. Beso se lo compre. I compamina is compre gede. Alena na masate. Briskata la babongale. Skebi non se li. Ke prosketo compa la baita. Ibra baba kose kanibo. Koria basile. E prasketo konde ma santa baburiate. Gila bon shamina kadelia. Prascata conde beze kereto sketo bola. Esco prokoto mina kadia branta babo zeketelia. E goze mateli seko tombre. Anka baba is compalwa. I kapasa talaba bonte. Yata konta bila kasketo bonde. Shamina ite. Akabanda babori masketo ba. Yata konte kuse makadia. Esose na kante konde. Yata konde bregede. Isko pama santelia. Isko pelimande. Isko brasketo binala. Isko prento korea. Azamanta ya. Azamateli kodembro. Abaito kombe la sika bantelia. We believe in you. Roque sabila ya. Esco bosonde, la bakuria siko prasketunda, iata kanda baboseila, iata kanda babori makadia, esco prosotoya, ekabai to kompe, shamina kante dos, rakato se mantelia, rakababalateya, rakasataya, rakababalata kanta babori makaseli, abresko pel, abranda babola kadia, esamina kalia, esamina kunda. Esamina Kadabo, Esamina Sante, Esamina Kante, Esamina Kuria, Akama Baba Bada. Ia la 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 Sante, Ia la 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 Kuria. Ia to kombe sana mina Kante, Presko to mina Kadabo Bado Kotolia, Ebraita Kumba Bina, Ebraita Sanda, Ebraita Babos Katale.
are dealing with the El Shaddai. <laughs> he will swallow up the circumstances. He will swallow up the situation. He will make the impossible to become possible. Is there an impossible situation in your life? Call to him right now. Call to him. Call to him. Call to him. He will show himself strong in the midst of the impossibility. He will show himself mighty. Come on, seminary, take a bandage. Lambro cote cose cubuco de boco si balantelia. La gaito cosqueta mina cantelibo coria. Premina suqueta la brante con bolo. Enco bisca tale bon seque. E capa la tocopre. Babro con samina cadebalia tando. Antelo copro cotoliba sen. We believe in your all sufficiency. We believe that there's no situation that you cannot handle. You swallow up our limitation. You take us beyond our capacity. Oh, El Shaddai. Kade konse ko bobo leo konte. E brake sko boko sketa mina lantelia. E bila manja katala. Broske to kombe. Anke bakuri basa. Oh oh Jesus. Silaboria maskito breketala. Romenaisa. Iromosa. Ramanosa. Escobo conte, Icobasque escobe, Racatusque tabalata con de Mazeli. Thank you, Lord. In the name of Jesus. If you are a partner with us and you are participating online and you are trusting God for the fruit of the womb. We have personnel on the desk. You can send in your name. Please, our brethren on the desk, you can write out the name as we pray so that when we are bound to carry out the prophetic action, we'll get the names and read alongside um, the people that are physically present trusting God for intervention in the specific area that we're going to handle tonight. The El Shaddai. The strong, the multi-breasted, is now that I'm full time that I can tell you that I have seen the El Shaddai. No job support, nothing. There are people I train in school We've not stopped training them. In fact, we added more. Hallelujah. There are widows I support. There are brethren I support. There are pastors I support in different cities. All of those aspects of the ministry of health have not declined since I came on quota. No. So I leave from El Shaddai's pocket as I speak to you. And, and, and if you have checked my traveling ministry I don't travel to preach just because you will give me a prophet of no, check the way I travel you will know that, are you there? I, I go on our missions I've, I've, I've cut down invitation response to like the barest minimum so people like Jack Fuck and invite. I go on relationship basis, not on invitation basis. Yes, so I'm not living by preaching. I'm not say, okay, I'm going to preach here because they'll give me one million. I know places like that, and they invite me all the time. People that can give, afford to give me five million. When I check in the spirit, El Shaddai will say, You are not going there. Yes. Yes. In your city in Lagos, 
there, there, there are a list of people he gave me that I can honor their invitation. And any name not in, on that list, trust me, trust me, you know me. I don't have business being there. So, we have maintained the integrity of the gospel because we are in league with El Shaddai. We've maintained it. And I can tell you because we are covenant people, we are in the covenant born of destiny. I can tell you clearly that the conditions of service that God has with me is better than what I had before. I don't need to preach for me to receive an alert. The messages I've already preached, some people have been encountered. They do see, they'll look for my account number. They, they, they get it, my zenith. You hear? Crum, 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 crum. If, okay, the, the phone is not online now. When I open it, I assure you, at least there must be one crum. So I don't need to preach for that to happen again. So I don't preach for money. That's why you can hear me cry like Elijah and say things that no preacher in Africa will say. No preacher. Because my money is not in anybody's pocket. Say, El Shaddai. Sometimes some people will be doing nonsense and El Shaddai will wake me up in the dream. He will tell me, when you wake up, go and do a teaching and enlighten the body of Christ on this matter. People try to harm me. But I've not told you. Yeah, they send people to harm me. A marabout. Strange. Have you ever seen a human being? Fire is burning him, but nobody can see the fire. When he came close to our, our facility, right, 3 a.m. in the morning, then an invincible fire began to burn the man. And the man, the fire is not visible. And the man was under that fire till 5 a.m. So the counsel was to bring the police and say, this man needs your attention. I'm serving God's will. You, you, a human being thinks he can kill me. You will sleep and not wake up. What we say are not things that taught us in Sunday school. Oh, I know Jesus personally. I know him personally. I have something with him. And I'm not saying that boastfully. But if I tell you otherwise, I lied. People have attempted to truncate. In fact, they held a meeting somewhere. Some pastors said that they said that we use money and women to make me fall. Pastors. Are those ones pastors? We are waiting for them. We are waiting for how are we for? Money. You have more money than each other. Let us see. Oh, so somebody that was in the meeting now escaped to, to give me the information. Pastors, you will wait until the last trump. Are you there? So people have tried to stop me. They couldn't because of the power that is. I know who sent me. I know the El Shaddai in very practical ways. You say you want to send someone and with satanic power to take me down. You don't know El Shaddai. What, where will you get the power from? From the water. <laughs> Before we do the prophetic work, um, are the guys on the desk, do you have any names there? Trust me, there is nothing that El Shaddai cannot swallow. There's nothing. There's nothing you cannot swallow. We signed up. I, my wife, were ready to die. Ready. In fact, this man you are saying has died. You know, we, that we died. The only way we live now is to do what Jesus says. Even if he says we should go to the to the uh, 
to also rock and deliver a prophetic word, I will get there. He will take us out from every challenge. He will take us out and glorify his name. I don't want you to attend to this prophetic action you want to do with any doubt in your heart. Even as we use the brethren as a point of contact, you can also bring your own petition before El Shaddai. He will swallow it up. He will swallow it up. Was it the 6th of December last year? I was sleeping and I had a dream. Those kind of dreams don't come often. Those dreams that look so real. And in the dream, I jumped and I noticed I could fly. So I was enjoying it. I flew. <laughs> then I landed. I said, This thing is good. Though. That was when I now discovered. <laughs> Why I was given the ability to fly, they sent two anaconda, one male and female, to attack me. So I flew. They were doing bubu on the ground. <laughs> so I noticed that the snakes know how to read the vibrations on the ground, such that when I land, they will know where I'm landing. I flew again. Then I have discovered how to land that the snakes would not know. So I now crawled and located where the snakes were staying. And one old man and now one old woman feeding the snakes with goat meat. And the Lord spoke to me, these people feeding these snakes are pastors. And I woke up. Huh? They are what? So I knew that pastors were attacked. So I began to develop muscles with El Shaddai in prayer and fasting for a long time before the attack started. I dealt with it before he even came. And I say it to the world so that the people that think, let them come. Let them come. Let them, many there be that will die. Because I know El Shaddai. Don't be afraid of anything. Who are you afraid of? We are going to pray. And the hand of the El Shaddai will go to work on your behalf. We will go to work on your behalf. Can we pray tonight? Do you have the names on the desk? Because we want to involve, we want to involve him. You know, Paul says, my God. Yeah, so that's what I want to do. There is a way I know the El Shaddai. On the strength of my knowledge of him, in that way, I want to commit him concerning the lives of everyone here. But we'll use our brethren trusting God for the foot of the womb as a point of contact. How many names do we have there? About 10 names. About 10 names. So, I don't know. Where, who is the chief usher? Please put us in such a way that we'll have something that looks like a circle. Even if it's not a perfect one. But there's space in the middle. There are people at the back. So now, stop your assignment as choir members. Just the guys on the instruments can remain. Come, let's do it. Ushers, can you direct us? Can you? Uh... It doesn't need to be just one perfect circle. Can, it can be a cluster around, but we we'll have space in the center. E mama ye ke santoria Yes it doesn't need to be a perfect one We are already good the way we are now we are already good 
We're already good. So you are going to see my God. Just like Paul said, my God. My God. Shall supply. My God. Shall meet your needs. My God. Shall give you a miracle. My God shall cause your face to shine. Hallelujah. Yeah? Um, where is Abe's wife? Bumi? Yeah, you go take the mic. You have enough El Shaddai in your life. So take the mic and give us a song that includes El Shaddai. We'll take that song to Cain and say that. Hallelujah. All right, this is an instruction, please. I have no intention to disrupt our solemn meeting. Uh, it's an instruction. I will just simply obey, even though it doesn't make sense, okay? Yeah, where's the song, Bumi? Where are you? Do you know that song? Nothing you told me. I, I went to the El Shaddai. <laughs> In the name of the El Shaddai, that thing. Can you sing El Shaddai? You are 
with us in ministry is present the Lord has dispatched that angel listen now so that you'll be confident I'm, I'm doing this just to help somebody's faith before we begin the prophetic action because I can see the angel with oil so there are two people that will be intensely anointed in the next 17 seconds two individuals will be intensely, intensely anointed. The anointing is already been released. There will be an intense impartation. An intense impartation. An intense impartation. An intense impartation. Thank you, Lord. It will be intense. It will be intense. It's going to be intense. It's going to be intense. Yeah, the hand of God will come upon the second person now. It's going to be intense. It's going to be intense. It's going to be intense. Holy Ghost. We worship you. Angels have been sent to us because he wants to be El Shaddai tonight. That's why we with your husband both of you should stand in if your husband is not here you can just step in step in step into the middle please hallelujah hallelujah no leave the guys on the ground just avoid them all right um the guys on the camera keep doing your business don't allow us to um to affect you okay Affect your just do your thing. That's why we were now listen. Even though I will not be praying about other issues, as we pray for these ones in the middle, trust God for anything it is in your life. 
you, you, you have a right to for this. Okay? You have a right. Just like you did to Abraham, introduced yourself to him as a God that was stronger than barrenness, stronger than fruitlessness. We introduce you to the RCN partners as such a God, as such a master, as such a king. And all the symptoms of lack of fruitfulness might be swallowed up in this place tonight in the name of Jesus. Now listen, listen. I see a signal in the spirit from the angels that the Lord has sent. Before I will lay hands, which I will do, the hand of God will descend on two of you. Two of you. It will be coming the grace will be, okay, it's already come, it's already released. The hand of God will rest on two of you. It can be the wife or the husband, as the case may be. But there's going to be a sign in the next 35 seconds. The hand of God will begin to come. The hand of God will begin to come. It will, it will rest on two of you in this circle. It will rest. It's already released. It will rest on two of you. And it will be so strong, so strong, so strong as a sign that the Lord is here to fulfill that which is his counsel. The hand of God will rest on two individuals in the circle. Eshadai. Open the wombs. Open the wombs. Thank you for the sign. Show us sign of your grace sign of your power let the wombs be open and if the issue is from the husband fix it tonight fix it fix it fix it fix it fix it fix it in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus let the weeping end let the expectation be filled in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Can you come closer? I need to touch you in the name of Jesus. 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 Let it be open. Let it be open. Let it be open. Let it be open. Name of Jesus. Up, 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 up. The name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. So now your finances, I say to your finances, open. Yeah. Hey. Hey. See, there's a reaction in heaven. There's a reaction already in heaven. There's a reaction. Open in the name of Jesus. Miracle babies. Miracle babies. Miracle babies. Miracle babies. In the name of Jesus. The angels are ascending and descending. Ah, okay, babies are beginning to come down. Can you begin to receive it? Begin to receive it. Begin to receive it. Begin to receive it. Can you shake me? Receive it. Receive it. Receive it. Begin to receive it. 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 Receive it in the name of Jesus. Receive it. Pastor Victor, can you mention the names on the list right now? Take a microphone.
Don't leave the circle until I ask you to leave. Don't leave the, the reaction is still to, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. The, 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 the angel is, is, uh, has put his hand on somebody. Okay, yes, yes, yes. There's, there's, yeah, there's a restructuring. A restructuring. It's taking place. A restructuring. It's taking place. A restructuring. It's taking place. It's taking place. It's taking place. Open. 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 It's taking place. Kaikoseli Makandela. Zobolo Korea Babasik. Zobolo Bosiko Satalia. Ensko bembele ketine kete koboroko siyatame. Anta ya bakasa kiboraso asanteli. Asekuri ya mamasiku. Yes. Mr. and Mrs. Ajayi. Mr. and Mrs. Ajayi Mr. receive Mr. your miracle. Amen. Mr. and Mrs. Ademola Oluwa Sami. Mr. and Mrs. Ademola receive your miracle. Mr. and Mrs. Sehinia. Mr. and Mrs. Heni, he, what? Sahinia. Sahinia. Take your miracle in the name of Jesus. Mr. and Mrs. Oshobuke. Mr. and Mrs. Oshobuke, take your miracle in the name of Jesus. Dada Folake. Dada Folake, take your miracle. Adesua Osarenorense. Adesua, take your miracle in the name of Jesus. Peace and Yoko. Peace and Yoko, take your miracle. Mr. and Mrs. Idowu. Mr. and Mrs. Sidowu, take your miracle. Caleb and Evert Yanet. Caleb and Evert, take your miracle. Mr. and Mrs. Shodikbe. Mr. and Mrs. Shodikbe, take your miracle. Mr. and Mrs. Onye Kanwu. Mr. and Mrs. Onye Kanwu, take your miracle. Mr. and Mrs. Ekong. Mr. and Mrs. Ekong, take your miracle. Carol. Carol, take your miracle. Mr. and Mrs. Omoti. Mr. and Mrs. Omoti, take your miracle. Ifoma Ike. Ifoma Ike, take your miracle. Obeho Okogun. Obeho, take your miracle. Mr. and Mrs. Uzuoku. Mr. and Mrs. Uzuoku, take your miracle. Mobo C. Dixon Wisdom. Mobo C. Dixon Wisdom, take your miracle. William Lamte. William Lamte, take your miracle. Isioma and Samson Omoti. Isioma and Samson, take your miracle. Mr. and Mrs. Okpayemi. Mr. and Mrs. Okpayemi, take your miracle. Lydia Olao Shebikon. Lydia Olao Shebikon, take your miracle. Abose de Obadino. Abose de, take your miracle. Joy M.M. Abasi. Joy M.M. Abasi, take your miracle. Victor and Dora Omoti. Victor and Dora Omoti, take your miracle. Ehiamen Margaret. Ehiamen Margaret, take your miracle. Mr. and Mrs. Bartholomew. Mr. and Mrs. Bartholomew, take your miracle. Ugochuku Izuagba. Ugochuku Izuagba, take your miracle. Mr. and Mrs. Solomon Idowu. Mr. and Mrs. Solomon Idowu, take your miracle. Inkiruka Igwe. Inkiruka Igwe, take your miracle. Mr. and Mrs. Osai. Mr. and Mrs. Osai, take your miracle. Mrs. Bosse. It's not your own. Mrs. Bosse, take your miracle. Amen. Kola and Ayo Abimbola. Kola, take your miracle. Amen. Mr. Okpayemi Omojoro. Mr. Okpayemi, take your miracle. Amen. Mr. and Mrs. Ibitoye. Mr. and Mrs. Ibitoye, take your miracle. Amen. Mr. and Mrs. Akomolafe. Mr. and Mrs. Akomolafe, take your miracle. Amen. Mr. and Mrs. Okusunju. Mr. and Mrs. Okusunju, take your miracle. Amen. Mr. and Mrs. Agbebi. Mr. and Mrs. Agbebi, take your miracle. Mr. and Mrs. Babalola. Mr. and Mrs. Babalola, take your miracle. Mr. and Mrs. Obaje. Mr. and Mrs. Obaje, take your miracle. Nonye Uwando. Nonye Uwando, take your miracle. Olufemi Babalola. Olufemi Babalola, take your miracle. Where is Bumi? Go on again. Don't change the song. Just stay there. Sing it, 
second just a second yes okay so the hand of God will descend upon you that one that is haunted once we identify you by the anointing will cut off the opposition father in the name of Jesus that one that is haunted in our midst can you be so kind as to identify that individual with the touch of the anointing the touch of the anointing. Is that your wife? Ah. Is there any other person apart from Pastor? Okay. What's her name? What's her name? Tolani. Now, so we have two people here we need to fight for. You know what it means to fight? Do you understand fighting? So we are fighting for our pastor. This is Ipo and Tolani. They are haunted. And I understand what I'm talking about. I don't want to give you details. We fight. Can you rise up in the spirit and resist anyone? Anyone fighting them in the spirit? Resist it. Resist it. Resist it. I come be baby satelli. Resco tomo rose salia camela minos. Yela bobo santoria. Rita sala babatalia. Yama babo roto santo pina casquetombe. Yeto compre skede baburia sabadat. Yako sabina cantebria. Iko salaboria. We cut off. Your finger of wickedness. We cut it off in the name of Jesus. We cut it off. We cut it off. We cut it off. Seek on by my side. Enter the Korea Babarika Sato. In the name of Jesus. of the enemy have, has failed. I speak to your blood pressure. I command it, go down. Go down. Go down. Go down. Yeah. The blood pressure issue is an attack. And we put an end to it tonight in the name of Jesus. It's okay. It's okay. Raise her up. He goes say like a bramina sukela azamo rokosa. El amor ya si ko presko vina hansen preko mansala baburi bata. We fortify you. We strengthen you. In the name of Jesus. Finally, before I, I stop this, can we speak in tongues? Just so that I can check if there's any other problem. Just for a moment, just for a moment. Just for a moment.
for those of you looking for job opportunities I bless you with those opportunities in the name of Jesus those of you trusting God for marital settlement I bless you with that those of you trusting God for a certain business opening I bless you with it in the name of Jesus Those of you trusting God for another level in your spiritual life, I bless you with the impartation. Of the Let grace speak. From now till this time next year, we will have a harvest, a bumper harvest of miracles. In the name of Jesus Christ. We give you praise. Oh. Things that were coming to you that were diverted, they will be restored. So let it be written. So let it be done. So let it be written. So let it be done. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Wow. I'm already seeing breakthroughs. I'm, I'm seeing it. So let it be written. So let it be done. So let it be done. In the name of Jesus. Before you take your seat, you just give me a handshake. Once you have received your handshake, you are released. Thank you.